for the sake of time, I think we're going to shift gears now uh, into uh, the ALK space, potentially the raw space if we have some time too. ALK, uh, a rearrangement discovered uh, in 2007, I believe, in lung cancer with the first drug approved in 2011. That was a four years that it took which is really emblematic of just the pace of genomic discovery and the development of drugs wedded to those particular uh, genomes that they work for. So uh, we've had some, a lot of movement in the ALK space. Um, Alex, uh, maybe you can talk about the ALEX trial uh, and, and other <laughs> frontline data. Um, I think it's fantastic that even though we're switching gears from EGFR to ALK, we're seeing a very similar theme. And in the ALK rearranged space, you had first genera a first generation drug like crizotinib followed by second generation agents, electinib and sritinib, that have broader activity against a wide range of ALK alterations, but also have improved CNS coverage. So again, harking back to that OC Martinib story. Um, we are seeing that with the ASCEND trial for seritinib versus chemotherapy in patients who are treatment naive, clearly that ALK-directed therapy is superior in terms of overall response and progression-free survival than chemotherapy, very similar to the data that we saw earlier on with crizotinib in the first-line setting. But the big difference is that seritinib compared to electinib, that has a very different safety profile. And we saw greater than 60% diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting, uh, and it's something that obviously when you want to dose a drug chronically can be very prohibitive. Thankfully, we have the ALEC study, uh, which is a better comparison where you have a head-to-head -head between crizotinib, a first-generation drug, and electinib, a later-generation agent. And clearly, as we've seen with the FLORA data, electinib was superior. You had a median progression-free survival of 35 versus 11 months. And you're seeing, obviously, much more durable disease control plus improved control in the CNS. Um, and even if you broke out patients by those that have CNS metastases, those patients still did very well yeah. on electinib. So similar theme to what we've already discussed. And what about toxicity concerns? With all, I mean, you've used a lot of electinib. Are there any issues you're experiencing in clinic that mirror the data? Uh, do you need to make, this is four pills in the morning and four, you know, this is four pills twice a day. Anything that you're having to do in everyday practice message out there to, to watch out for for the electinib? I think in the vast majority of patients, it's a pretty tolerable drug. Yeah. And it, it was striking that when you compare the toxicity side by side, electinib still won over crizotinib, yeah. which we think of mm -hmm. as a tolerable yeah. drug already. Yeah. Obviously, you'll run into certain um, class type side effects like inflammation in the lungs, et cetera, that you might see, GI changes, you know, a rise in ALT, AST. But by far, most patients actually will tolerate the drug yeah. very well. It's hard to ignore. It's similar to flora. When you have not only a better drug, but a better tolerated drug mm -hmm. uh, with better penetrance in the CNS and median survival times that we have not witnessed before. Uh, a progression-free survival of 35 months is really yeah, just it's unbelievable. Just unheard of. It's, yeah. it's humbling. It yeah. really is. It's yeah. humbling. Have yeah. you ever imagined to tell the patient who's just diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer, usually those patients are young, yeah. that you won't worry about them for at least three years? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a remarkable story. Uh, and people think that ALK is, oh, well, it's just a rare genotype, but it really isn't in some patients. In the under 40 crowd, it's yeah. quite high. Uh, and, and when you have a great drug like this, I think it's, it's just been such, it's been a pleasure to witness the, the changes that have happened and the science that have affected patients immediately.